Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com and this is my weekly swing trade report. We're going to start quickly with the analysis of the Qs. So current support in the Qs is the 115.85 and we have resistance into this area at 117.50. Any break today above this area will project it higher. We're going to expect a move up into these prior highs at least into 118 for this week. Uh, if we consolidate lower and if we test these areas at 116, we might come in. However, due to the very, very strong trend, we're not looking for a very uh, strong turnaround. So uh, the move down is going to be rather painful uh, than anything else. But we're going to look for 115.50 for a first target area. However, I'm not going to look to short. In this market uh, so remember as long as we maintain these highs right here look for more upside and now let's visit the spies the spies are also into the same um, uh, same pattern. Uh, we have support at 216, 21625, and we have resistance right here into this congestion area at 218.75. Uh, we have an all-time high right here at 219.60. We do have room to continue up uh, into this area of 219.60, and we have another projection, 219.75, 95, and 220. Uh, projected cal calculated projected target areas for the spy so as long as we digest and eat through these uh, uh, through this resistance area we have enough room to continue higher uh, and this is what we're going to look for however if we're going to have a downward move and if we're going to revisit the 216 area more than likely that would be quite buyable area but don't buy it just yet yeah, just wait to see if we get another retracement all the way into 215 or 214 area before we do that uh due to the strong location at where the spies um are trading right now uh, we are inclined in the fact that we can continue higher. Uh, with that being said, here's my bullish list for the week of September 6, 2016. Uh, the first stock that I'm going to start with is actually STX. And uh, we have been talking about this stock uh, quite uh, 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 quite a while, uh, even in last uh, last week's um uh, last week's uh, uh, video. Uh, S STX continues to be very, very bullish and it has a very strong consolidation. So after the breakout, we got into this trade at this initial breakout here. And what we like about this trade is that not only that it popped higher, but for the last four or five trading days, it has been consolidating at this uh, at this prior resistance area, currently minor support at 3325. Um, again, I see another breakout possibility over $34.25 here, uh, and it has uh, a really nice uh, continuation uh, void into $36, into $37, and $38. So you have more than uh, three to four R's into these final targets. This is continues to be one of my favorite trades, and this is a carry-on trade from last uh, from last week. So SDX, keep it to your bullish list. Uh, ETFC, uh, keep an eye on financials, and we have a new financial watch for today. Market is open. You heard the ding, ding, ding. Okay. Uh, $26 is the next area of consolidation, and if you're in this trade, congratulations. Uh, you uh, actually got this really nice pop to the upside, and we have been consolidating for one, two, three, four, five trading sessions. If we break above $26.60, uh, we're going to move higher for an ultimate target into 20, uh, $28. So it looks really, really nice. And you have a very, uh, very tight uh, risk level here of about $0.50. Cents. So ETFC, continue to watch it. It's continuing higher. Urban... Uh, is another stock that uh, we had it on a watch for a breakout. However, that did not happen. We're not into this trade, but look for the alternate entry right here with a daily buy pocket forming onto the daily chart over $36.15. Uh, and look for a target into $37, uh, $37 area and 38, $38 and has room all the way like this this can really run all the way into 39 to $40 area. So uh, love this buy pocket that is forming here. Remember, a pullback into the whole number right here at $36 is viable. Uh, 
Uh, and it looks really good. Double bottom right here. And look at the double bottom. It's forming into this prior area of resistance. So really, really nice area. So Urban, keep it on the list. And this is also from last week. Um, keeping the same... Uh, um, um, uh, talking about financials, and uh, I have a new favorite this week, and it's CMA, it's Comerica Bank. And uh, you could see it here, new high, 47.70, really, really strong. Remember, it's eating through all this area of resistance right here, and not only that, but it's eating through a monthly and a weekly area of resistance. Uh, 47.75, uh, $47 $48 can be considered as an entry right here, and it has a very nice possibility of continuing high higher all the way into 49 and uh, $50 areas and um, $50 $50 area is going to be another area uh, like I said that it will be tested and probably we're going to spend some time in that area since it's a strong uh, a projection target area uh, however it has a lot of room to continue higher even for a core trade into uh, 5250 so very, very nice uh, scenario here in uh, CMA for a breakout. BWA is another symbol from my watch list. I love the way it's setting up right here. This congestion is just breaking through all this noise right here. You can see the price triggering above uh, this whole resistance area right here. Um, I see an entry uh, right here at $35.50, and um, uh, I would use a stop under $34. Um, I would look for targets into $40 and $42, $44, so it has a lot of room to move to the upside. So BWA uh, can be quite a generous stock. Uh, the other stock that I'm watching is DAN, and this is a strong consolidation. Also, uh, it's some of my favorite patterns consolidation that are that are trying to break above these highs right here. So 1475 would be uh, for me the trigger area. However, pay very close attention because this is a little on the thin side. So no trading right now. It's only trading 15,000 shares. Um, it has room to continue higher. Look at this peak right here uh, at uh, $16 and 50 cents so this is what we're going to be looking for don't forget it's trying to digest the prior resistance onto the monthly chart so keep dan on your watch list uh mga um, MGA is another stock that is trying to break through this resistance and we have a lot of uh, breakout uh, trades as you've noticed because we have been sideways for a very, very long time. And sideways market is the toughest market to trade. However, uh, this is the breakout over $41.25, even $41.50. However, it's very thin right now in the morning, so be very, very careful uh, trading that. Um, and uh, also it has a lot of resistance at $40, so they use this as a stop. And like I said, it has a lot of room to continue higher, and I see an ultimate target on this one into $44 and $46. So it has plenty of room to move, uh, to move higher. DPS, my favorite drink, Snapple. Love, love, love the Snapple. Okay, any pullback right here into the $94 area. I love, love, love a pullback. We had an initial break. You can see this big candlestick breaking up. Uh, I would love to see a pullback into $94 to take this higher into $96, $97, $98, and even into the $99 area. Beautiful scenario right here. I am not in this trade. However, I would love to see a pullback into $94 and even $93.80 for an entry. Dr. Pepper, doc, Dr. Pepper and Snapple. Love, love, love the Snapple. Okay. Uh, KMI, KMI, love this trade. Uh, it was brought to my attention by one of my friends, really nice uh, buy pocket developing here onto the daily chart. Uh, $22 for an entry, $21 for a stop and projected target. First target you're going to look for $22.80 and is also having a really nice breakout onto the weekly chart. So I love, love, love this. Uh, room to run into $25, $25.50. So KMI, keep that on your watch. SWN. SWN is more of a core trade and I like to keep it that way. 
Uh, stop in uh, this stock would be about $13 right here, and it's really tightening up, and the entry would be $15. I really don't want to mess around and kind of like buy these bottoms right here since it's very, very risky. Once you see the price uh, coming back into this area, you could have you could have a slip down, you could have multiple stops that are triggered, you could have that flurry down. So I don't like that. Um, I like to take the breakouts fit over $15. This is what I'm going to be looking for with a stop at $13. Target areas for the core, $21.30. This is for SWN. Remember, core trade, position trade. Um, another, uh, C another stock that I'm watching is CHK. Love the CHK price action is breaking above these highs right here of 660. It has support under, um, $6, $6.13. Uh, it, it's picking up volume. So it's doing really, really well. You could see it, uh, you could see it right here over 2.7 million shares traded already. Um, I think it has a good opportunity for it to continue higher into $7.50. Watch this one for a day trade as well as for a swing trade. CHK is acting really, really nicely. Okay. Uh, LNG is another stock uh, that was brought in my attention and has a pretty similar pattern. It's on the thin side right now, so it's nothing that I would touch. I traded only 47,000 shares. Uh, no day trade and no swing trade for me at this point, uh, although it has a really nice buy pocket forming right here at $43.80. Uh, $43 you could use the stop at $43. Uh, $42.30. It has room to continue higher into $46 area, and then it has room all the way uh, into $48 of, and actually testing $50 for uh, for a swing. Uh, LNG really, uh, really looking good. So these are all the stocks that I'm going to be watching this week uh, for swing trades. I'm watching them patiently for them to set up. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at uh, info at tradeoutloud.com. We're going to have a new class, a new swing trading class that is coming in uh, on October 1st. So it's close to a month, uh, not really a month, about three, four weeks a week three weeks and so away. Uh, so it's going to be a two-day class um, from October 1st to October 2nd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to come, the class is going to come packed with a lot of education. It's going to be two full days. And not only that, but we're going to offer some scanning classes as well that are going to come, scanning sessions rather, that are going to come with the class. Uh, that's going to be included with this uh, first launch of our new swing trading class, revamp swing trading class. Uh, but enough about that. Um, remember, keep focused, look for uh Look to follow your trading plan and you're going to be doing good. Pay attention to your position size. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next week.